Okay, this morning we're at Hollywood Studios. It's a chilly day here in Florida. My cheeks and nose are all red and rosy. And we're headed on Tower of Terror first thing. It's so fun, huh? He doesn't get to go. I want me and Daddy on Tower of Terror. Yes. It was lots of fun. Sean loved it. He's only ever been on the Guardians in California, so <laughs> it was awesome. The show was really good today. Um, I don't know. We went in the B, Elevator B, and it was really great. Like, I was impressed. I don't normally like Tower of Terror, but that was really good. <laughs> yeah, tell him how it was. And now he's not going to. <laughs> quite quickly so we got to try to help him pay it back so a little trick with Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run if you don't really care what position you're in then going single rider is a great option you'll generally end up as an engineer which is fine you can still have a lot of fun and truly enjoy the ride that way but just remember the other positions are not going to be available to you if that isn't just how the numbers lie so the front position is the pilots, and obviously they are guiding and steering the ship. And then the gunners, you have to protect the ship. You also get to land, launch the cannons at the end. And then the engineers fix everything you break. Safety, remain seated and supervise younglings. Por favor, dona mesa, Not bad, not good. I think we broke the falcon. When you go to Galaxy's Edge, you gotta get the blue milk. <laughs> that face after you said it's good. <laughs> it's good, but it's not like amazing. It's good. <laughs> it's fruity. Weird tasting. Yeah, it's fruity. It tastes kind of like the milk from Fruity Pebbles. Like, after you've done eating your Fruity Pebbles and you drink the milk, this is it. I think you should tell them about the vibes of like this awesome courtyard. Like, yeah. Well, we're at Docking Bay 7. We're just hanging out in the courtyard out here. It's pretty empty right now. It's 
a nice shaded area to come and relax. It's like spaceships flying by. There's like these like rhythmic drums I've never heard in my life. It's awesome. Chimes and stuff. We, as you know, flew the Millennium Falcon and we're just waiting for our Rise of the Resistance time to come around and then we will go and join the Resistance and see what happens when we do. our favorite ride here in Hollywood Studios. I mean, of course, Rise of the Resistance is absolutely amazing. But Crowley and I just love Mickey and Minnie. When we drove out here from Utah, we just kept singing the theme song from that ride, thinking nothing could stop us now. We're headed to Florida, and it's just gonna be a great time from here on out. So Bradley and I are sharing the fried and Dorian chicken tippet with the delicious mac and cheese and vegetables. And then we also got the, I don't know what the theming name is, but they're, they're ribs, a rack of ribs. And I've had this before. It's absolutely delicious. We did hot tip, get the hot sauce on the side because we don't quite want the full spicy tip yet. But Bradley, like I'm a little weak. And so we just get it on the side, and it's perfect. So this is where Bradley and I got engaged in Galaxy's Edge. Here in front of the speeders, it's now droid racing. <laughs> but that's where it was. Ray and Chewy up on the top. It was truly magical. You have never tried the cream cheese pretzel. It's the freaking best. We gotta do it. We couldn't even wait to die. Already halfway gone. <laughs> It's so like sweet and creamy. Mm, can't go wrong. <laughs>
so that sums up a fun day at Hollywood Studios. Um, my biggest tips, my two favorite places to eat are Woody's Lunchbox. I love the brisket melt and Docking Bay 7. Um, pretty much anything from there is just absolutely amazing. I don't think I even filmed anything from lunch because it was so good and we were so hungry that we just ate it all too fast. <laughs> um, what are some of my other tips for Hollywood Studios? I already shared about the single rider line for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Um, other than that... It's just a fun park. Try to knock out your shows early, like go to the Frozen Sing Along, of course, and the Indiana Jones stunt show as early as you can in your day. That way you can save your steps <laughs> and prepare for waiting in lines. <laughs> Unless you want to use your shows as a way to just kind of take a break from the heat and waiting in lines, then that is also great um, to do in the middle of the day. So you, really, I guess my tips are just to have a plan and to strategize, try to do each area and not backtrack as much as possible. That's just kind of a general rule for all the parks. Try not to backtrack. You're just going to wear yourself out. If you go from land to land to land and back, it's not worth it. <laughs> Just try to do one land at a time as much as possible. And if you do have to backtrack, stay in the neighboring areas. Don't be going all the way across the park. I've done that. It's not fun. So those are my biggest tips. Hope you enjoy Hollywood Studios.